We are at uh, Great White Pizza in Pure Park in Panama City Beach, Florida. My wife JP and I have been doing this for about 16 years now. The recipes we have, some of them are standards, some of them are things we've come up with ourselves. You know, pizza is just a vehicle. That's what's so beautiful about it. Sometimes we put Nutella on it, we put eggs on it, things that aren't on the menu. Uh, plenty of YouTube people know that. They get out there and they experiment all the time, gives up ideas. I know Jim's got some kind of spicy ranch he's just created here from our homegrown habaneros in our yard outside, so. I grow Carolina Reapers, habaneros, jalapenos, and what I've been doing lately is taking the Carolina Reapers and mincing them up, throwing them in the ranch and making a Reaper ranch. And it is phenomenal. After growing the, planting the peppers, growing the peppers, dehydrating the peppers, grinding the peppers, it's a lot easier to go to the pepper palace. <laughs> <laughs> This is a pizza that I think Jim ultimately created. This was your pizza? Yeah, I pulled it from, uh, other people are doing a Jamaican see, or a jerk one as well, but it. Well, when we were coming up with combinations. We were trying to come up with something to yeah. kind of set us apart from others. Mm -hmm. And then we searched for a long time to find a seasoning that would go real well. We tried probably 10 or 15 different ones. I bought stuff off the internet. Nothing seemed to just work real well with it. The flavors just didn't go real well. We tried this out and it was amazing. Um, we use this, probably a container of this every week or two, depending, uh, going throughout the, the summertime. This is something else I love from uh, the Pepper Palace. It is the ghost pepper flakes. You also have the reaper flakes. I like spicy foods. These right here, it's money. It is money. And you know, here, you, when you build it, you can always add more uh, or less. It depends on what each person wants. Best, best thing there is, some cheese. This is that grande cheese, so it gives you that nice, ooey, gooey, stretchy cheese factor when it melts. Yeah, shout out to grande cheese for some of the best cheese on the market. No yeah. fillers, no additives. We're gonna throw oh. some salami on here. Some nice chicken pieces. That's a big chunk of pizza right here. A little bacon, make it nice and crisp. Well, y'all know what we're talking about. When we say pineapple on a pizza is delicious. Kind of gives you that sweet and savory all at once. Oh, it's really oh, good. Y'all know y'all love that. Now we're gonna put a little extra something on there. All right, flavor flavor going in the oven. <laughs> um, I found, honestly, I, uh, we're always looking for a different idea with t-shirts. Instead of the mar uh, marinara is a gateway drug to pizza, which is a good play on words. We just went ahead and went with the marijuana since Florida is a, a medical state. I can't keep these in stock. I get an order in of uh, 200 shirts and they just start flying off the shelves. So uh, it's been a, a hilarious conversation starter. People see me out in public all the time. Man, I love that shirt. Where can I get one of those? And, it's it's just a funny shirt. When they look at that shirt, they're like, you're not lying. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells absolutely amazing. I would love to take a bite, but it is, as you can see, steaming hot, and I am not burning my mouth. Very flavorful. I like it. It works very good with the pineapple on the pizza too. Next time anybody's in Pure Park in Panama City Beach, come on in, get a pizza, try out the stuff, then head across the street to Pepper Palace to find what you want. They have hundreds of hot sauces, all kinds of different rubs and seasonings. When you're down there, see how hot you can take it. Because sitting here on this corner, I see a lot of their victims. <laughs> victims? They think they can take it hot. Mm, let's just see. We'll see what happens out front.